So first and foremost, we're very excited. Doc, thank you so much for, for being here right now, and we really do appreciate it. So without wasting any time, let's just, I think, let's, let's, let's get into it. So first, I think, for the sake of the audience and all of ourselves, we'd like to understand, um, in the office that you hold, we do understand that Zimbabwe, as Zimbabwe, we've been currently on a path of re-engagement with regional and international economies and different international institutions. We are on that path of continued challenges. We, we understand in terms of the opportunities that international re-engagement has. But I'd like to understand from you in terms of from the time you've taken off, uh, from, from the time you've gotten into office, what, what challenges have you faced in engaging the, engaging the international community? Thank you very much, Murunga <coughs> Zombo. Uh, is that correct? That is very correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd made a mistake. About three hours of this session only. Um, because it is got, it is diverse and it has got a lot of depth and other issues. But let me summarize the, the key issues. Firstly, your country, this country, has been, before you were born, most of you, uh, isolated as a country for almost two decades. We realize that the United Kingdom was the key and strategic uh, uh, player in what resulted in the isolation, as the problem was regionalized within the EU and it was then totally internationalized as the Americans also uh, uh, brought that uh, to their table. Now, because you, you realize that I, my focus was in the uh, 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 British uh, uh, area, so that we could understand each other, re-engage, and then from there, partner to re-engage the rest of the world. Now, while we are doing all these issues and we are reforming, not because we are being told to reform, we are reforming for the purposes of the interest or in terms of the laws and the procedures and in terms of the rule of law of this country. Now, while at least we have made a breakthrough, particularly with Europe, particularly with UK, our breakthrough in terms of the US has been slow. Because there is a, a, a legislative a, a, a piece of paper which exists over us, which is called SIDERA. And that naturally takes time. But there were quite a number of issues which were considered to be sort of conditionalities, or so to speak, and some of which were a free and fair election to observe our elections in this country so that they can come in and look at them. Besides organizations, besides everybody else, all came through to observe our elections, including the senators in the US, including the Commonwealth, which actually had not been allowed to observe elections within the uh, context of a non-member state, uh, which is not a member of the Commonwealth. But at the end of the day, the countries where we engaged expressed certain challenges. The challenges have been your reforms which you undertook to take are, take, are too slow. Your reforms, uh, you know, and when I talk about political and legislative reforms, she resulted uh, in the Motlante Commission and then there were recommendations. And uh, there were election observer missions, recommendations, and there were uh, other members who have come through, uh, like the Kofi Annan and the, uh, 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 the, the, the team of the uh, WISE, and uh, many other organizations. But all this is being viewed by many as too slow. That's one challenge. Mm. This country. 
the ease of doing business is too complicated because of the laws. Thirdly, some even say we don't see the dominance of women and the youth, which I'm sure is good news. <laughs> and we have uh, 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 listened to all those issues. But all I can tell you is that uh, legislation to the Constitution of 2013 uh, in order for everybody to be certain and economic reforms which you are aware have obviously uh, uh, permeated have been the predominant uh, activity of the year 2019 these were considered to be important but fortunately which is good news with the EU the EU had to request that our each ministerial level or to be up at the minister to the ministerial level because they realized that we were now getting somewhere closer to what I can say a political uh, uh, conclusion and um, I, I'm happy that uh, the Un European Union has moved pretty well and we've made uh, a gateway opportunities uh, <laughs> so that we had to also establish and pursue specific partnership agreements with the UK. But we have, with the Americans, before, during the First Republic, we were not even talking. But now, certain measures, we may differ but agree on certain issues. But as I have always said, re-engagement is a process and it is not an event. So I thought that I could just uh, summarize that one. Thank you. Thank you very much for that.